Hi, this is Julie with Bead Halik, and in this video, I'm going to teach you how to use Bead Alon's battery operated bead reamer tool. So it makes a very nice buzzing sound, so you know it's working. So, what this tool is going to allow you to do is to expand the hole size of pearls. So, I have here where I've already used it on this pearl, and you can compare it to the size of this hole here. Now, if I would have kept going, I could have made this hole even larger. But as you can see, it is a bit larger than the original size. So let me teach you how to do that. But first, I want to show you how to put a tip in because your tips are going to come not already attached. So pinch this little metal bracket right here and pull out. And here are the components that you have. And the tool is going to come with two tips for you to use. So you're going to take the little rubber casing, put it over the tip and slide it so the tip is resting against the base of it. Then slide this into the little case and make sure that's all the way down. Then you're going to take this piece here and definitely not pushing the power button as you're doing it. So just hold the sides of it, push this into that center well. And then if you want to remove it, pinch it and pull it out and then push it down in. So really quite easy to do. So when you're going to be using this tool and if you're going to be using it for pearls, you're going to want to have them submerged in water when you try to expand their holes. So a really handy tool to use is this uh, tweezer here and it's got these little cups. This is a fiber tipped tweezer and it's really meant for holding beads and pearls in place. So I'm going to take this pearl right here and just put it between the tips of the tweezers. And so now it's going to hold it. So now I'm going to turn it around, submerge it in water. Let me see if I can do this so you can see it on camera. It sometimes helps to put the tip into the hole first, then submerge both those in water and turn it on. and you will slowly start to see that hole expand. I'll do this a little bit more. There we go. So that hole now is getting larger and if we kept doing that, it would continue to get larger. So that is one use for this tool and there is another use I want to show you as well. So if I take this tip out, there are these other tips available. These are by Beetle on as well and these are wire rounder tips and what they allow you to do is to round the tip of your wire. So here I've already done one. So let me show you the before and after basically. So here I just cut it with a cutter and here I rounded it. So it's really smooth. This is good if you're doing a jewelry project where you're going to have an exposed piece of wire. Maybe you're doing an ear wire that you're going to be putting through your ear. This is a great application for it. And there's different size tips. So here this one is for 20 gauge wire. This is for 16 to 18 gauge and the one here is for 12 to 14 gauge. So I'm going to be using 12 gauge wire. So I'm going to be using this one right here. So you're going to take out the tip you used for expanding your pearl hole size. You're going to keep this casing and you're going to slide the wire rounder tip right into it. And then you're going to put it into your tool. You're going to take your wire with the rough edge and you're going to place it into the cup portion of the tip. Now the 12 gauge wire to begin with is just an exact perfect fit. But as you start rounding it, it's going to sit into that cup more so you can get the really nice rounded shape. And what I find helps is if you just rotate your tool ever so slightly, and you can see we are starting to get a nice rounded tip. Now 
see, it's continuing. And it does have a little rough edge right here, but as you continue to use your tool, that will disappear. So you'll just continue like that, and then as you work with it, you will eventually end up with this, where it's really nice and rounded. So again, this is the Beadalon battery-operated bead reamer, which also works with these nice wire rounder tips. And then real quick, before I sign off, I wanna show you a quick tip for opening up the battery pack. I had a little bit of a hard time opening it myself. Here is the area to open it. But I just took a penny and I slipped it under here. And just like that, it opens. And there are your batteries. And close it back up and you're good to go. You can find this tool and a whole host of supplies to use with it at betaholic.com.